The Boston College Eagles entered September of 2007 with a clear goal in sight. Not only a berth in the ACC title game, but the title itself. The road to Jacksonville wouldn't be easy with a schedule featuring away games at Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, and Clemson. But with new head coach Jeff Jagosinski at the helm, the Eagles had a fresh approach that was clear to any observer to play aggressive football. It would pay off as the team would have one of their finest seasons, finishing the campaign in the Associated Press Top 10. Under their new leader, the maroon and gold would be soaring upward. On September 1st, the Eagles continued a home game tradition started a year earlier as they touched the Bronze Eagle for luck before their season opener. After all, the Maroon and Gold went undefeated in Alumni Stadium in 2006. But would the Bronze Eagle prove lucky against Wake Forest? The answer was yes, as BC, after spotting Wake Forest 14 points early, stormed back behind ACC preseason player of the year Matt Ryan and an explosive offense. Kevin Challenger's touchdown reception brought them within seven and reinvigorated the alumni stadium crowd. Early in the second quarter, the maroon and gold evened it up at 14s when Rich Gunnell pulled one in for a 38-yard score. While BC had stepped back into the ring, by no means were the Deacons quitting on this fight. Just minutes later, Wake was knocking on the door again, but senior Dewan Tribble came up big with an end zone pick. Still with just over two minutes to go in the half, the Eagles trailed by a touchdown. But in an impressive display of time-saving efficiency, BC drove 70 yards in just five plays. The drive culminated in Ryan's third TD pass on the half, a 22-yard connection with Clarence Megwa, and a 21-all score. In the third quarter, it was all BC with two unanswered touchdowns, raising Ryan's TD pass total to five on the day. Brandon Robinson grabbed the go-ahead score before Gunnell's second touchdown extended the lead to 14. The star of the game defensively was Dewan Tribble, picking off a second pass in the end zone before pulling in another for his third interception of the game. For his efforts, Tribble was rewarded with National Defensive Player of the Week honors. Wake's last real opportunity ended when the Eagles denied them a single yard on consecutive runs. Mark Herzlick and Nick Larkin made a stand on fourth and one with just under six minutes to go. Former superfan turned kicker Steve Aponovicius put the nail in the coffin, hitting on a 27-yard field goal with one minute 46 seconds remaining in the contest. The Jagosinski era had kicked off with a resounding and entertaining 38-28 victory.